in case you haven't caught on by now, I'm going to Singapore in about two, two and a half days from when I upload this video. I'm super excited and I also need a cough. So I thought I would share with you what I'm taking. I am going to be there for a total of four days and four nights. This holiday for me is a bit more luxury than my previous ones. Um, I'm taking way more stuff. I'm even taking a suitcase instead of my backpack. So this is my carry-on backpack, which you guys have seen if you watched my um, these types of videos when I went to Europe. I'm not going to show you guys what's in it because it's practically the same as what was in my last video, which I will link down below. The exception will be that I'm bringing my iPad so I can watch Girls because it comes out like today. So, yeah. As for the actual outfit, I'm going to be wearing my new trainers because I'm really taking two pairs of shoes, which you guys will see. This is one of them. Um, they're really comfy and practical, obviously. I'm wearing my new Fila tights, uh, which I bought the same day as those. These are super, super, super comfy, and that is key when you're on like a nine, nine hours of travel in a day. That's key. I'm also wearing my uh, sleeveless hoodie top dress. Thing. And then as a jacket type thing, I'll be taking my uh, Levi's denim shirt. I'm also considering bringing a warmer jacket because I get absolutely freezing on planes and I don't know what to expect at night time. My light just fell over. And I don't know what to expect at night time in Singapore, so I'm considering that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Let's move on to the actual luggage. <laughs> So this is my suitcase. Um, this is from Kmart. It cost me 50 bucks. It's a carry-on suitcase, but I'm using it as my luggage because I'm going for four days. Let's get started with what is in the suitcase. Okay, so as you can see, there's two sides as per every normal suitcase. Rebecca, don't need to explain that. Um, on the first side, the first thing I have is my little sailor cap, which I'm not 100% sure I'm even going to wear, but I thought it would be worth bringing with me just in case I want to funky up an outfit or something. So I'm bringing that. I then have my second and last pair of shoes, which is my strappy sandals. These are everyday, going out for dinner, super, super comfy, look really nice sandals. Then all that's left is my two luggage cubes. In the first one is where all my bottoms are. So the first thing I have in there is my pair of black harem pants. I then have my one teaspoon denim shorts. I have my denim skirt, which I absolutely love. And then I also have a patchwork skirt thing, which I don't wear much, but it is really nice, really flowy. And if we're dressing up for a one night or something, I thought this would be nice. So yeah, that's all the bottoms that I am taking with me. In the second luggage cube on top, I just have a little bit of pajamas, so I just have some shorts, and this is just a tank, a normal tank top that I thought is good, you know? And then I have three tops in here, but I'm also going to be using the um, hoodie top as one, so I have, of course, my distressed Subi tea, the, again, the love of my life. I'm bringing, like, pretty much my favourite clothes. I also have my thrifted big white shirt that I can use as, like, an over, over shirt, and also I use it just as a normal shirt because it's really oversized, and I love oversized. And then the final top I have is my little boob tube top thing. Um, fun fact about this, I actually cut this from the bottom of a bodycon dress, um, so I could have a boob tube. So to me, that's not much at all, but to some of you, it might be heaps for four days. I don't really know. This is just what I want to take and it's what I'm taking. On the other side, which is zipped up, I have my toiletry bag. Again, I'm not going to show you what's in here because it's practically the same as the last time I showed you. I'll link it down below. Um, the only thing that's changed really is the quantities and the like labels, like the brands, but the products themselves, you know, shampoo and conditioner, um, moisturizer, makeup remover, all that kind of stuff, still exactly the same. So I'm not going to show you what's in there. If you want to check that out, um, go. I'll leave that video linked down below. I then have this little microfiber towel, which I don't know if I'm going to use, but I bought it when I went to, before we went to New Zealand, and I thought it would be handy, you know, if we end up going to the beach or something, um, just because it's so small, I can just chuck it in my bag and it dries really, really quick. I then have this mini hair straightener that my sister gave me. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I've never even used it before. I thought this might be nice if I do feel like straightening the ends of my hair or something like that, so I decided to take it. And then the final thing on my suitcase, it's really empty and I was not expecting it to be this empty, is my little mini backpack which is going to be like my day bag type thing. Um, I've put it in here though because obviously I have my Kenken as my carry-on. But in here, in the zip, is all of my underwear and my bathers. So my bathers are this one piece that I got off um, 
city beach, I think, and it's got strappy backs, which I now have really terrible tan lens from, but we'll excuse that. That is literally everything I am packing with me to Singapore. I might add a jacket or swap out the pants for my flares. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I've still got two days to figure it out, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I hope maybe you found it helpful. If you have any suggestions of what to do in Singapore, we do have a mini type of itinerary, but any last minute things we could chuck in there would be awesome if you guys could let me know if you've been there before. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be uploading vlogs when I get back, so, well, one vlog when I get back, so do watch out for that. Check out my Instagram for posts when I'm away, and I will see you guys in the next one.